In this video, I will be showing you how to work with the structure accessor. An accessor within a Lumio is used to interact with your data. Let's take a look at the transformer tester. Within the transformer tester, we have an object that contains a prices key. The prices key is an array of objects. Each object contains a type field, um, which in indicates what type of price it is, and a value field, which indicates the value of that type of price. So maybe what we want to do is change the data type from the value from a string, which is cur it's currently a string, to a float value. So in order to do this, we want to use a value mapper, which I've already configured at the left side. But now we need to define the correct accessor. So let's say we want to target the uh, value fields. What we can do is, OK, we can say we have a structure accessor. Then to the structure accessor, we have to say, OK, we want to match the key called uh, type. The value should be a value and the root should be prices. So what, what Alumio will now do, uh, Alumio will now understand what the key is of the field, which is in the type field, with including FAT, and the value of the field, which is uh, 10.95. So it will now only apply the float mapping to the value field. So now when I hit run test, we can see that each value has changed in a float. So this way you can work with more complex data structures um, uh, yeah, without any limitations. So best of luck applying the structure accessor within your integration. Thank you.